Hello everybody, this is uh, Shrikant Dasare. So today uh, we are going to learn about uh, the how to embed a structure uh, within another other structure. Okay. So in the last couple of uh, lessons or the last 10 lessons or so, we are learning about uh, structures in depth here. So today we will focus on uh, so how to uh, uh, take a structure and write a structure definition uh, within another structure here. Okay. So let me launch the idea. So we know that we are using a, a VC++ 2005 Express Edition for uh, Windows, uh, okay. So if you go to about section, you have uh, a little bit of information. So this is a very old ID. Uh, so the reason I am using it because uh, it is a very lightweight uh, version and it's good enough to do, uh, uh, learn at least uh, programming, uh, even though we don't uh, use it for uh, developing uh, high-end applications in uh, C++ uh, programming or C or C++ programming language, okay. So here I have created a project with the name uh, embedded structures here. Okay. So if I click on that, uh, it already launches. Okay. So already it's uh, open. So we have a very uh, blank, uh, uh, we have a .c file uh, with uh, uh, minimal uh, program. Okay. So if you run this, uh, nothing happens here. Just uh, it shows the window, uh, console window. Okay. So to, to start off with, let's take a structure here. So let's say type there. Uh, struct let's take a structure for uh, student okay so you're just defining a structure for student here okay so let's say that uh, <coughs> let's take a student uh, role number uh, since a student has uh, uh, typically a role number here okay so let's take a name or something like that so whatever you wanted you can fill the data and then let's take a, a struct date here so if you observe I am defining a structure uh, within other structure here, okay. So instead of uh, defining a structure separately outside uh, and declaring that variable, uh, which we have seen in the last lesson, last couple of lessons, which were uh, which were known as the concept of nested structures. Uh, when coming to the embedded structures, we can directly define a structure within other structure here, okay. So uh, typically a date consists of a date, uh, variable for date, handling the day of the date, or as you can say a day, the correct word is day. And we have a variable to handle the month, and we have a, another variable, structure variable, for handling the year. Okay. So now uh, let's close this structure with the help of semicolon. And now let's uh, declare a variable uh, for uh, the parent structure or the structure which holds that this uh, day structure, okay, which is the student structure. So let's say, what else? Let's say here, uh, it's two, since we have uh, used uh, type def, okay. So let's say uh, student uh, S1, okay, and uh, okay. So what we have done is uh, we have uh, defined a structure within a, a student structure, and we haven't created any variable to that. Let's say uh, let's say uh, DOB, okay. So I have created a variable for our uh, structure definition date uh, inside that uh, student structure, and then I had. Uh, another uh, uh, variable uh, or other variable for the structure which holds the definition of the uh, definition of the date structure inside the student structure okay so i have uh, defined the variable for that also so now if you want to assign the values it's very quite uh, normal uh, how you do it in a normal structure so first s1 s1 dot using dot operator and accessing the variable uh, row number is equal to you can say one something like that and uh, s1 dot uh, name is equal to so since you have taken a character pointer, you can directly assign the name here. So let's say I'm just putting my name here, so we can, sorry, okay. So now in order to assign a date uh, or assign the date structure, uh, which you have defined inside a, a student structure, the syntax is a little bit different here. So you have to do something like this, s1 dot, uh, uob dot. Then you have to access the uh, date variable. Let's say, uh, let's say four. Uh, let's put some date here. I get up with s1 dot uh, uh, dot month. Okay, so is equal to two and s1 dot uh, dot uh, year. Uh, let's say uh, 2007 or something like that, 2001 or something like that. Okay, so here we have uh, assigned the date structure uh, within uh, the, the state structure which we have defined within our uh, student structure. So let's uh, print out uh, the data. Uh, let's see how to, uh, let's just print the data here, okay? So let's say slash slash t. 
let's put some stars and formatting kind of thing. Okay, so all these things are not uh, mandatory. Uh, so let's print it out. Uh, so let's say something like this. Such and slash t. Uh, so the name is equal to percentage yes. We can say directly s1 dot name since we have assigned some value to it. And then let's uh, print uh, the uh, a date of birth here. Okay, so date of birth. Let's say date of uh, birth or something like that. <coughs> Percentage T. <coughs> or else, uh, or else, let's put the date in a different format here. Uh, let's say date of birth is uh, percentage D uh, slash percentage T slash percentage D, and you can say directly S1 dot uh, DOP dot T. And you can put on uh, the whole thing here s1 dot uh, dob dot uh, uh, month and s1 dot uh, dob dot uh, year okay so run the program until now if everything goes well so you get the output like this here okay the student details and followed by uh, the, the actual name here okay let's put one more slash in here such so that it looks uh, neat here okay so in that way, uh, you can uh, uh, define a structure, uh, and you can uh, with, with, can define a structure uh, within a structure. Okay, so this uh, gives you the facility of uh, embed, embedded structures. Okay, so you can uh, go into very deep here. So you can also define another structure within uh, another structure uh, inside this structure also. So now you can say something like this: struct uh, 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 leap or something like that and you can have another definition of uh, another structure and you can go as far as uh, uh, any levels depth uh, according to the requirement of your uh, program so the one uh, important thing is uh, when you are uh, uh, dealing with this kind of uh, uh, mechanism uh, you you need to when you you need to initialize or create a variable for that structure within that structure and then you need to access the structure uh, access the embedded structure okay so this is the this is the embedded structure here, okay let's put a comment so embedded structure okay so and then you need to access uh, uh, that uh, structures data using both the variables here okay the, the student uh, this is the variable structure variable for the student class Structure variable for uh, student, sorry, student structure. Structure variable for student structure. Okay, so this is the variable declaration for the date structure. So whenever you wanted to access, uh, okay, so I'm putting another comment here. So accessing the elements. So of, uh, accessing the elements of the embedded uh, embedded structure date. Okay. So whenever you are accessing the elements of the embedded structure, you need to keep in mind that uh, you need to use the, both the variables, uh, the, the structure variable of a student which is S1 and the variable of uh, the date which is DOB. Okay. So this is the basic step about uh, so how to uh, define uh, embedded structures and access the elements and so on and so forth. Hope this video tutorial helped you. Okay. So hope this uh, helped you uh, in gaining some knowledge. Okay. So feel free to give a thumbs up and comment about the uh, tutorial. So see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.